Here we go. So Jim's working his left hand, just wrist strokes. And right now, we're doing it, we've done it better, or more fluid with that wrist only moving. Because if we're doing a wrist stroke, we want to just isolate the movement. Of course, there's movement happening everywhere in your body, but we just want to isolate, yeah. So slow it down. You want to isolate that movement to, to this joint, right? Just as if you were dribbling a basketball. And for this exercise, there's no forearm rotation. So that's why for this exercise at home, you're going to take a basketball and sit down and do the movement of the hand just like you are the movement of the drumstick. So now, even slow it down more. Now we're getting better at that uh, fluidity of just isolating the wrist stroke and accepting that rebound. Yeah. That's very good. And just make sure that I don't mind that the pinky's not touching the stick. Yep, take a breath. Just know that there's gonna be some tension when you put that stick down, but you're just gonna release that. And then there's gonna be tension again. And then it's just sort of a cycle of tension and release. Mm -hmm. And now, if you notice in the video, you're isolating the stroke to just a wrist movement. And when you speed up, speed up just for the video's sake, you'll see now we're start, starting to get some of that forearm, which is okay. Keep going faster in tempo. Yeah, so now we're not, so what's happening is, so you could see that in the video, your, your index finger went up, which is sort of stopping that energy because I was just about to say, you're not accepting that rebound as well even though the wrist was moving. Now you have some nice extension and flexion happening in your wrist. Let me get a different angle. Not just wrist, just wrist. And if you have a mirror to work with at home, that might be helpful too. Accept that rebound. And don't be afraid to throw that stick down a little harder so you can accept that rebound to come back up. Mm-hmm, nice. Yeah, now one more time, go faster, and that way I can point out, okay, even when I just said go faster, you're getting your, you, you start getting your form a little bit into it, All right? So, so now you're, good, you're, you're, you're doing a little bit of that. I'm, I'm imitating, see, see what's happening? Mm -hmm. See what I'm doing? Now you can, so there's a combination of the two you can use, but for this exercise, you want to just build up that coordination of doing just the wrist stroke. Okay, now we're heading into, now we're heading back into the right territory. and then it, it just doesn't feel weird anymore. This becomes your natural default way of doing a wrist stroke when you need to. And because you're leading with your left hand, this becomes so, this exercise becomes really important for you to be able to do faster beats and get better hi-hat technique if you're leading with the left. Yeah. And there's a tendency for the stick to creep out a little bit there. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. So just be mindful, do this exercise. This is already four minute video. Okay. This is a long time that we would be doing this exercise. At home, do it for maybe a, maybe two minutes max where you're taking a break every 20, 30 seconds. And the other thing, if you don't have a mirror, if you have a laptop, you could set up, you have like Skype on your laptop. Yeah. You could just set up like a Skype. You don't have to call anyone, but if you just set it up 
then you get the the you mirror can, image right. of yourself. So just you could do that. And that way you can just look in the mirror. You don't have to continually continually look down. Because the other thing is like when